This is Jay with The More You Know. Thanks for catching another episode. Today we're going to do a little unboxing about a, a product that I've used quite a bit, also from a supplier that I use quite a bit. Uh, they're a pretty reputable company, and uh, they've got a good product. So today I'm going to show you what we have, and then I'm going to show you the applications and how to use it. So today we'll be unboxing is uh, from a company called GS Plant Foods. They make all sorts of different kinds of biostimulants. So I've used a couple of their stuff, such as Green Envy, which you've seen in the video before, and I've also used a couple of their other humic acid blends that they have. This right here is Root Ruckus, so let's go ahead and open this box and show you what's inside. Okay, so as you can see on the table, today we have a Root Ruckus for you. So Root Ruckus is a blend of sea kelp as well as humic acid, as well as some other micronutrients that are involved or that are inside of it. So what the sea kelp and what the humic acid for is, they promote soil health. So say you have a structural situation, like you're in the middle of summer, it actually helps with the uh, absorption of water as well as other nutrients that are in the ground. The other um, ingredients that are inside uh, consists of mycorrhizal fungi and, and inoculants. Now, I don't know what those do, but uh, I'm sure they're good for something, so uh, they wouldn't put them in there if it wasn't. So I like to use GS Plant Foods because they have a great product and also they give it to you at a fair price. So this gallon right here ran me about $34, $35, give or take. Um, I'm able to get it off Amazon, who's here next day shipping through Prime, and it has all the same ingredients as some of your bigger brand uh, um, stimulus that you can get from some of the other guys on YouTube. But uh, when you get you get a whole gallon for $34 as opposed to a gallon for almost $90 in some of the other places that you can get it from, and it's all the same stuff. Um, like I said, they come with a quality product. I've never been let down by what they have. I've used the Green Envy. I've used just their uh, their humic acid. I've used Rebrex before, which is a blend of, um, like I said, humic acid as well as sea kelp. And uh, just all in all, it's a really good product. I highly recommend using them. Check out their whole line. Um, I'm not sponsored in any way by them, but uh, I do stand by their product. Um, I mean, honestly, you can't find anything cheaper. I mean, this is the best bang for your buck you're going to get for any kind of uh, stimulants, biostims that go inside your yard. It's also good for your plants that you have out in your garden. Uh, it's good for flowers. I mean, it's good for shrubs. It, it, uh, and a little bit goes a long way. So according to the bottle, the application rates uh, can range from between two to four ounces of this product per gallon. I usually typically on the higher side, I go about four ounces. Um, I haven't had any adverse effects from going as high as that. I'm sure you can put down more if you really want to, but for my application, I feel that this is uh, adequate. Next, we're going to go ahead and mix this up, and I'm going to show you guys how it sprays out. It's a backpack sprayer. So, uh, hope you guys stay around and see how this product goes down. Okay, so this is the application setup that we're going to use. So, as I've said before, I like to use a bucket so that way I can mix my product inside and then pour it into my backpack sprayer over here. It's kind of hard to pour things in through the top and make sure it's all mixed properly when you can just pour it inside of a five gallon bucket or bigger and have your way with however you want to mix it. Whether you want to use a paint stir or you want to use a paint stick or you just want to stir it by hand, um, a five gallon bucket is the way to go. So, let's go ahead and open this and see what we got in here. Okay, so you can't really see much inside here, but uh, inside is just your typical humic acid and uh, sea kelp blend. So uh, when you open, when you get a new bottle of these, you're going to make sure you want to shake it up because a lot of the stuff will settle to the bottom. And you want to make sure you get all the stuff out of the bottom so that way you're getting a nice even application. Okay, so as I said before, you can go between two to four ounces per thousand. So um, I'm planning on doing my lawn um, overseeing project. Stay tuned for that. Uh, coming up in the next month maybe um, as most of you know I'm in Kansas it's still hot there's no reason for me to do any kind of renovation at this point but I'm gonna take care of the roots that are here and uh, help it thrive to the best of its ability in this kind of heat because I'm gonna be using it at a rate of four ounces per thousand I have 4,000 square feet in the front of my house so four times four that's gonna be 16 so it's just right at two cups Okay, that's what two cups looks like. Pour it in our bucket. So once you pour all your mixture into the bucket, go ahead and get your stir attached to your drill, which is probably the best invention ever, and give it a stir. 
when I mix my product, I like to add some water to the bottom of the five gallon bucket, just so that way it has something to mix with before it goes in the sprayer. I don't want this raw product going straight into the sprayer. And now you have to go and try to get all the chunks and corners and everything, get everything all mixed up when you can just do it right there. Let's go ahead and get uh, this poured into the backpack sprayer. Okay, so here's my backpack sprayer that I'll be using. I'm not sponsored by Ryobi in any way, but I like their products. Uh, when we first bought our house, my wife bought me um, a leaf blower, which had the four half hour battery, and their whole line is expandable, so I was able to build off that and get different devices. This one runs off of the 18 volt system. This is where the battery goes. So, and then I had these batteries around from when I had a drill a long time ago, and I just keep changing the um, batteries around. So, all in all, Ryobi is a cheaper product, but it's a good product. I recommend them. Let's go ahead and pour this into the backpack sprayer. So as you can see, we're currently about the one and a half gallon marks. We're gonna go ahead and fill this bucket up to get it to the four gallon mark, which is up here. Um, I wish they marked these a little bit clearer so that way you can kind of tell from uh, a distance as to exactly how much product you have inside. But I mean, once you start spraying for a little while, you kind of understand the backpack a little bit better and exactly how far each gallon will get you. It's all about calibrating. So I fill my five gallon bucket up, about two and a half gallons of water. I'm um, gonna go ahead and add it back into the top of the sprayer. Again, hopefully I don't spill. If I do, I'll just clean some of this crap off. So um, let's go ahead and add the rest of the water and top off the tank. All right, so we're at our four gallon mark. So we're gonna go ahead and give this another mix with the stir, just to get everything well incorporated. Let's go ahead and put our lid on. And now we're ready to spray. So before we go out and spray, we wanna make sure we have the right tip on our sprayer. So this tip I actually have on here is more for a foliar application. I prefer to use the, uh, the T-Jet air induction tip, which uh, creates bigger droplets, so that way the product will actually get down to the ground instead of staying on the leaves of the plants. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this out real quick. So this air induction tip works very well for when you need to either spray in the wind or you need to spray down into the actual soil level and get through the canopy. This is good for foliar, this is good for soil. So we're gonna go with this one since we're doing a soil application. One good thing about the Ryobi is it accepts all these tips on any different kind of adapters. One thing you gotta be careful of is make sure that you keep that little washer that's inside there or you're gonna spray product all over the place. This little washer I was talking about. So put the new tip in, just drop it in that hole, push it down so it's flat or flush up against inside the housing. Put your gasket around, a little O-ring, and just screw it back on. Line it up. And there you go. You got your right tip on there. Let's go do some spraying. Okay, so I said in previous videos, the easiest way to tell where you need to spray without using any kind of marker or dye or anything of that nature is to just follow where your mouth stripes are. So you go up that way, turn around, come back down in the dark, so on and so forth. Do your trim pass first, so that way you get all your edges, and then come through and fill them with all your lines. It's a very, with this tip, you can basically cover about the width of two stripes. So I typically just go to up and down one stripe at a time, and that way I get my full coverage I need for application.
so I have a little bit left over in the tank. Um, as I stated earlier, plants also love this. This isn't just for turf applications. Your plants around your uh, property would like them as well. So I usually give uh, the last whatever I have to some of the plants that are around. So go around them once over. Never had an issue with any kind of uh, dry spots or any kind of blemishes on the leaves from the product. It always works out pretty well. Pack's pretty much done. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing exactly for the backyard. I'm not gonna show you the whole process. You already saw how it is with the front. Backyard is gonna be the exact same. Uh, sun's starting to go down, so I'm gonna try to get this taken care of as quick as possible. Uh, I want to thank you guys for joining in. To I want to thank you guys for watching another episode of The More You Mow. Once again, I am Jay, and uh, anything you guys want to comment or have any questions about, feel free to ask. I want to thank you again for tuning in, and uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, check in weekly for different video uploads. Try to keep the content different for you guys from time to time. reapplying the humic acid and sea kelp I was able to see it so give him a little spray with a selective herbicide so this is a mix of tenacity and speed zone let's take care of this issue see you in hell buddy so once you get all your product applied you want to make sure that you go ahead and water it all in you want to make sure it gets down into the, uh, into the soil and not sitting on top of the soil and on top of the leaf blades. It's not going to do any damage, but you, the purpose for it is to get down to the soil and produce better soil health. So when you're done, water it in.